Hi, I'm John Cooper, and this is a public service announcement. I'm kidding, but you've heard me get on here so many times and talk to you about not making financial decisions based on computer-generated home values. And there's a recent example that has further proved this point. And just to be clear, what I'm talking about is any sort of online home evaluation tool, instant online home evaluator, quick online home evaluator. Uh, in the States, they often call them Zestimates. Uh, it's an estimate of your home's value using a computer-generated algorithm. This is also a big part of how your BC assessment value is generated. It's called mass appraisal. They plug a ton of data into a computer and it spits out a value. There's a very recent example of this and just how badly it can go. And I wanted to take this time to remind you guys about not using computer-generated values to make economic decisions around your real estate. So recently in the States, there's a company called Zillow. Anyone in my space is very familiar with them. Canadians, not so much, but it's a, one of the largest consumer-based real estate portals in the United States of America. Using their computer-generated algorithm, they've been purchasing homes in North America for the last year. Based on whatever their algorithm says the value is, they would pay for that in what's called an iBuyer program, and they have accumulated hundreds and hundreds of homes in the last year. As it turns out, they are now abandoning that program. They have now determined that all of the homes that they bought collectively, they've overpaid for them, and they've lost over $300 million using a computer-based algorithm to guide their investment decisions in the last 12 months. Obviously, that's a crazy example and a massive amount of money, but it reminds me to remind you, please do not use a, con a computer-generated estimate of your home's value or your BC assessment data to guide any of your real estate decisions. What you need to do is to align yourself with a realtor or a real estate expert that you know, like, and trust, and that is going to give you guidance, not sales scripts, not handle your objections and take the path of least resistance to a trade, but someone that is going to take the time to understand your problem at a fundamental level and use their experience in the marketplace to guide you to a great outcome. Many times that outcome is not to buy, is not to sell, is to hold on to what you have and wait for the time where it's best suited for your life. The prescription is different for everybody. Is now a good time to list your home? I don't know because I need to talk to you first. What's my home worth? My BC assessment is X. What do you think it's worth? I don't know. I can't extrapolate value on your home from a flawed data set, which is your BC assessment of data. So please don't make the mistake as Zillow did and lose hundreds of million dollars using computer generated algorithms to make decisions. Use your experience in the marketplace and assemble a team of experienced experts to help guide you. I'm John Cooper with the John Cooper Real Estate Group. I hope you found that useful. Reach out to us anytime through coopergroup.ca and we're ready when you are.